Vital point of view. Our argument started the minute the front door was closed. My husband angrily accused me of adultery, which I vehemently denied until I was blue in the face. How could he think I was capable of something like that? Goku was my father-in-law not some strange man I met on the street. I'd known him for many years, and he could tell I was feeling down in the dumps. He was trying to be nice, as always, and his childlike innocence made him forget that some things were inappropriate. Gohan tossed his glasses carelessly on the table, and rubbed his eyes like he was arguing with a small child over something trivial. Vittle, what do you want from me? I'm doing everything I can to keep you and Pan safe and happy. Am I the bad guy for trying to keep you two off the streets? My father is middle-aged now, and he still doesn't know how to act like an adult. He's always irritating my mother, tracking dirt, eating like a pig, and vanishing for months at a time. Growing up is part of life. I'm not sure where you've been for the past 14 years, but we've raised a daughter in that time. We're responsible for the well-being of another person. Father never understood what parenthood was, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Pan needs two adults raising her instead of one. As if you're ever here to even speak to her I snapped. Pan is 14, she's practically an adult herself. She comes home, eats, sleeps, and leaves. That's also a part of growing up, Gohan. Now that she's older, and can take care of herself for the most part. I'd like to go out and have some fun every once in a while. What's so wrong with that? Just stay away from him. He's a bad influence. God knows how I turned out normal. If it wasn't for Shishi, I'd be a brainless brute just like him and Vegeta. Thankfully my human side is stronger than the Saiyan influence, or Pan wouldn't have ever known her own father. Gohan clenched his hands into fists, fuming. He always left without a second thought. He wasn't there for my childhood. And he refused to come back even when Gotten was due to be born. He's a selfish, stupid. How could you talk about your own father that way? He's flesh and blood. Why is he manhandling my wife in the middle of nowhere? He snarled. I saw him grabbing you in the water like some animal. Maybe he should treat Shishi that way instead. A disgusted sound left my mouth before I could stop it. This was a sight of Gohan I truly detested seeing. When he was angry, the gloves were off. The most cruel, hurtful things could spew from him like vomit, and he wouldn't bat an eye brushing it off as releasing steam. Still, it was better than Goku and Chichi's version of arguing. All that ended with was Goku running for his life, and apologizing up, and down for mistakes he never made. He was joking around. We're family, Gohan, not strangers. Your father used to take baths with Pan when she was a baby. So does that make him a pedophile? No he was doing what he always does, acting like a kid, and enjoying himself. Gotten or Trunks would have done the same thing. Before Gohan could launch a counterattack, there was a shy knock on the door. He growled and pushed past me with a promise that our argument would continue later. I sighed, and opened the door to let the source of our fight inside. Still sopping wet but lacking his usual goofy smile, Goku noticed my expression and panicked, quickly kicking off his shoes, and bending down to wipe up the small spots of dirt on the linoleum. I grabbed his shoulder, and pulled up, trying to communicate that it was unnecessary. Dirt never hurt anyone, I said. Sorry about the way your son was acting. Goku shrugged and looked at the floor. It was my fault. I shouldn't have been fooling around like that in the first place. It's only okay with the kids, like Shishi always says. Hey cheer up. Want something to eat? I bet you're hungry. It garnered the response I had been hoping for. Any mention of food always got Goku excited and chattering again. He followed me into the kitchen with a long tail about catching a huge fish after Gohan, and I left, animating the story with hand movements and facial expressions. I had a hard time focusing on making food after a while. He was so damn good at making people feel better. Gohan appeared at the bottom of the stairs, after I had put several chickens in the oven to keep the Saiyans more full than they had been in the morning. My husband awkwardly drummed his hands on the wall to catch Goku's attention, and cleared his throat, when his father failed to turn and look at him. Once he did, Gohan straightened up and pointed his chin to make himself look more imposing. From the corner of my eye I could see Goku grinning. Dad, you should probably go home to mom, Gohan said but she'll throw me out again. I know you're upset about earlier, son. Can we put it behind us so we can enjoy this meal Vittle is making? It smells good, doesn't it? Ya come sit, Gohan, I said, pulling out a chair for him. You were right. I shouldn't have gone out earlier. Your father, and I agreed not to do it again unless you're okay with it. Maybe on your next day off we can all go out for a picnic, our cheery reply threw my husband off. He stammered in agreement and took the seat I offered him gratefully before throwing himself into a conversation with Goku. 
I put on a few pots of vegetables to go with their chicken, and sighed in relief, when they started laughing. Gohan wasn't one to express emotion very much, but when he did, it was fierce. I hadn't known he got jealous so easily. Still, getting something out of Gohan was better than being pecked on the cheek and ignored. My smile widened, and I felt truly happy for the first time in forever. But that was part of being in Goku's presence. Even if you were furious with him, it didn't last very long. He could quell a fight in minutes or beat the living daylights out of anyone who dared stand against him. I wondered if Gohan dropped the argument, because he knew deep down that his father wouldn't be his friendly self if his son accused him of adultery. It didn't seem like something Goku would take lightly. The food was finished a while later, and the two Saiyans eagerly dug in, much to my delight. I hadn't gone to school since Gohan earned enough money to support Pan, and me so being a housewife was my job. Thankfully, I had learned how to cook from Shishi, who also taught Bulma to keep Vegeta from complaining about her being worthless. Everything was gone within minutes, creating a new pile of dishes in the sink Gohan stretched and sleepily smiled at me, while his father rose from the table and yawned, I'm gonna head to bed. Goku said, do you still have the guest room upstairs? Yup, help yourself. Gohan said when Goku thanked me and left for bed. I drew water in the sink to start doing the dishes Gohan walked up next to me and watched me scrub cooking grease off the pans nothing was more annoying than being stared at while doing something unpleasant I splashed some water at him and he irately backed off, pulling his shirt from his chest to glare at the spots of soap, what's your problem? he asked, nothing, I'm just joking, geez, relax for once, this is what I'm talking about Vidal, you need to stop acting like a child, I was sincerely hoping you would mature the longer we were married, but you're still just like Goku Gohan, I splashed water on you do you want to argue over water, my husband scowled, and swiped the dish cloth from my shoulder, I'm sleeping on the couch, you can stay in our room and think about what you've just done, stop talking to me like I'm a child, I demanded, stamping my foot to drive the point home, then stop acting like one, I angrily threw one of the dishes on the floor without thinking, and it shattered into a million pieces at my feet, sending ceramic shards everywhere, the immaturity of my action took a minute to settle in, but when I did, I ran from the room hiding my face so Gohan couldn't see me tearing up. He was right, as usual. I was behaving like a spoiled brat instead of a grown woman. Pan's bedroom door was closed when I wandered down the hall past my bedroom to check on her. It meant she was home, thankfully, but probably fast asleep, and not in the mood to be bothered. I shuffled back to the master bedroom, and quietly shut the door behind myself before I started crying pitifully. The ferocity of my tears literally brought me to my knees giving me the chance to pound the carpeted floor with my fists. It wasn't fair. Why was I becoming so eager to leave? When the realization that I was unhappy with my home life hit me I was unwilling to accept it. It was the influence of Goku. He always made me feel liberated. Around him, anyone could feel like a young kid again. Everyone except Shishi that is. She was always looking for a reason to yell at the poor man, in spite of everything he had done for planet Earth. He was a bit flaky sometimes, but he had good reason to be. It wasn't laziness, it was his duty as the protector of earth. My weeping slowed down until I could think and breathe normally again. I hoisted myself off the floor and crawled into my big, empty bed with a heavy heart. Gohan would be gone in the morning, and he wouldn't be interested in arguing after a long day of work. I'd be trapped inside with my own foul feelings, stuck with facing them alone and debating with myself. As I slowly drifted off to sleep, I heard the bedroom door creak open ever so slightly. Gohan, go downstairs. I really don't feel like talking right now it's me Vittle. My eyes popped open, and I sat up swiftly to see Goku stepping inside the bedroom unsurely. When I motioned for him to come in, he carefully shut the door behind himself, and clasped his hands in front of his stomach. He was twiddling his thumbs like I was going to yell at him. Come sit. I offered, patting the space at my feet. Gahan's asleep so we aren't fighting anymore tonight. Even if we did, it'd be pointless. What's up with you I just feel guilty for what happened. Goku sat cross-legged next to me rather than where I had intended for him to be. It was kind of uncomfortable. I'm really sorry Vittle. Earlier today wasn't supposed to be anything sexual I promise. You really think I don't know that? We're family and part of that is teasing and having fun. I know a lot of people don't like you acting silly, but I don't mind at all. You're a funny man who's been through quite a bit in his life. Please don't apologize to me for trying to be friendly. An odd expression passed over Goku's face. Was there some malice I detected in his eyes? Well thanks. You're much easier to talk to than Shishi. He rubbed the back of his head, 
a compulsion he'd carried for a long time. Hopefully Gohan doesn't say anything to her or she'll have my hide. I'd like to go home and sleep next to her again. I miss how she used to be, but forget about that. What's up with Gohan? He's always been like Shishi, but now the resemblance is uncanny. Since when is he such a jerk? Oh well, I don't know. He's wrapped up in work. Someone has to pay the bills. Grandpa Gohan. And I always found ways to make it by. Neither of us worked. And I wouldn't get a job if my life depended on it. He crossed his arms. Life is too short to be worried about work. I can grow my own food. And catch it too. And I bet you could teach Pan yourself. You're pretty smart, Videl. My cheeks flushed pink at the unexpected compliment. Gohan told me I was good at my wifely duties, but he didn't treat me like an equal anymore. I'd lost a lot of my combat power when we settled down and had Pan. Gee thanks. If only Gohan understood that when she was young, I would have loved to homeschool her instead of shipping her off every morning. That's the life. Don't sell yourself short. You're a beautiful, intelligent woman. The room suddenly felt too hot and stuffy for my liking. I tugged on the collar of my nightgown and avoided his now steely gaze. I can wait here if you want, in case Gohan gets mad again, and you guys have another argument. I'll defend you no problem. Goku gave me a thumbs up and winked. That's fine, he's probably sound asleep. Head back to bed, and see if Shishi is willing to let you back into your own house tomorrow morning Goku grimaced, but finally took the hint and performed a graceful, somersault to land back in front of the bedroom, door, he smiled, gave me a small wave, and left, it reminded me of Gohan when he was younger, and we were first married, he'd always been tons of fun, I laid back down in bed, reminiscing more than I should, thinking of the past just made living with the present that much harder, when I teetered off the edge of consciousness, and fell asleep. I could have sworn someone was watching me from the window.